Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today I thought I'd, I'd do an update on our beginner's toolkit. It's been a while since we uh, touched upon it, and there's been some changes along the way and some attempts at making some changes that didn't work out. So let's go through some of that now. So we still have the, the, the Kaiwich HC118E meter. Um, it, it, it's a terrific meter. I, I can't I can't say enough about it for, for what it costs. I mean, it's sixty seven dollars. It's still sixty seven dollars. It hasn't changed, and it, it's just a it's just a really wonderful meter. I use it all the time. If you go through some of my videos, and you'll see when I pull out a meter, I'll either pull out this or I'll pull out um, my Bryman meter. Um, the Bryman, of course, would be a little bit safer in an in industrial electrical application, but for for this, it was class uh, class one, class two environment that we have around here. This does everything I needed to do. It's it's a terrific meter. What we did, if as far as meters concerned, is we we joined it up. We've got it a, a little brother for it, and uh, in order to be able to do power measurements directly, we need one meter to be able to measure voltage, one meter to be able to measure current. So we got this little one here, this little uh, KM100. And it's a very inexpensive meter too. I think it's uh, eighteen dollars over on on Kiwitz. and it's a great little meter too. It does everything it, it it's supposed to do. It does it well. It's accurate and it's very convenient to use. So the only thing is, it's not auto ranging, but as a for a second meter, you know, we can forgive it for that, uh, considering its low price and its 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 nice form factor. Now, as far as the function generators go, we're still kind of struggling along with this. This kit that we got and we built up, it's still available. I think it's still thirteen dollars and ninety cents. But uh, to tell you the truth, it's it's not a it's not a great function generator. It does produce signals, but the fine controls don't work the way you expect them to do. And you know the changing from different ranges is you have to unplug this and plug it in. So it's a little bit awkward to use. If there's offset voltages in there that you can't get rid of the Square wave is completely different uh, voltage output than is the triangle and, and uh, sine wave. It leaves a lot to be desired. One thing nice about it is very low price. Another nice thing about it was that it was a kit, so it gave us some soldering experience. That was nice. But I tried to replace it with this, and I, I would have. I would have easily replaced it with this. I mean, this, this was more like, you know, twice or three times the price. But it, from a user perspective, it's it's much nicer. It has much better control. It's got a controllable offset. Uh, the output is variable, and it doesn't change from you know one kind of signal to the next. And it's a, a true DDS function generator. I would like to have replaced this with this because it was much better, like BNC output. It's you know it's just a, a much better device altogether in concept. However, this thing came with um, fake operational amplifiers on the output, uh, or counterfeit, whatever you want to call them, and we had to replace them. And that's definitely not a beginner's thing, because these were you know, kind of small surface mount components, and beginners are just not going to be able to do that uh, effectively. I know other people have bought these and gotten ones that work right out of the box that don't have fake components, or the fake components aren't as bad as the ones I got. But unfortunately, I can't recommend it. I can't include it in the in the kit. So this power supply has been great. Now, you, if you look back at the original, I'll leave links to most of the stuff I'm talking about, like the original kit that we had. Um, the original power supply was replaced with this one. Now, the original power supply is not currently in my possession. Somebody else is using it after I fixed it up. So I can't show it to you, but uh, we did replace it with this one. And uh, initially this one was, was $53, but uh, it has now since gotten up to $79. I've updated the price here to include the, the uh, current price. Yeah, it's, it's a great power supply. And, and we did do uh, a little bit of um, improving on it by put, mounting a, a bigger heatsink on the back of it. So that made it a little bit more usable when we were using it at, at a low voltage and a high current so that that transistor was dissipating a lot. And you know, the nicest thing about it is a linear power supply. Now we, we, we complemented that. We got this kit here. It is LM317 based power supply here, which we built and in the process of building it, we added a few little extra features to it. 
And this was very reasonably priced. We've got this over at IC Station. It's for $17.50 or thereabouts. And this is also a linear power supply. So you, you can hook these two power supplies together to get the kind of uh, voltage arrangement that you want. And that's why it was handy to add this into the kit, was to be able to get split supplies or to be able to increase the voltage beyond what I can get here. Now, another thing we did, we, oh, I just love this iron. Like this iron is always here at the side of the bench in case I'm working on something and I need to do something quick or if I'm building a kit, I always use this iron. This iron is, was really, really cheap. It was really $27.11 for the kit that I got. They replaced that kit, but the new kit is actually better and it's less money. So now it's available for, for $22.99. And it comes with the stand that we had to buy separate before. So I've been able to eliminate the soldering iron stand from the interim kit. So we, we got that. The original kit didn't have the stand. We added that in along the way, but now we can take it out if we go with the new kit. And I'll leave links to all this down in the description, all these components, so you can have a look at them and see what I'm talking about. But this iron is really, really good. I'm very impressed with this iron. It holds the temperature very nicely where you set it. And it's convenient just to have it sitting here. It doesn't have a huge, big power supply. It connects directly into the AC through this cable. And I think it's very nice that the price came down and they're, they're throwing in the, the stand in with it. So yeah, that's, that's good too. And I also got this soldering tip cleaner. I added this into the kit. The brass ball is much better for getting off lumps of solder and stuff like that, which the sponges. And so that added in, you know, $17.50 to our kit. You now, another change that we made um, was the oscilloscope. This thing has really great performance compared to this. Like it, this goes up to 15 megahertz and it actually does 15 megahertz. It actually goes well beyond the, uh, on the analog side, it goes well beyond the 15 megahertz. It just falls flat in its face because it's a sampling rate. Um, but still, I mean, it, for, this is in the, the 200 kilohertz range and, it, and it's okay up to 200 kilohertz. That's all they promised. But this is 15 megahertz and it's got a built-in function generator. I had to buy a probe to go along with this one. So that probe cost me $8 something. I got it at a, a surplus store. Uh, but this one comes with a probe and it also comes with a rechargeable battery and everything. It's it's just far more usable scope than this one. So it it won out. Um, and so I eliminated the $33.89 for what we paid for that one and the $8. Uh, so that's about comes out to about what uh $41 and then I put in uh, the $52 for this scope and I think that's a great upgrade for an additional $10 you get far better scope now the solder sucker well the solder sucker is the solder sucker we're still using that it's a great thing to have around um, no need to change that those are very simple very cheap and they they work very well I always have it here right at my fingertips and this is the little one I'm talking about here. So these are next to nothing over on Amazon. And if you don't have one, get one. The flush cutting pliers, uh, these are just these are just wonderful. The, the, the ones that we got here are uh, they, they work they work splendidly. I guess all the hand tools are here. Actually, I'm missing one pliers. I gotta go find it. I don't know where it is. It's escaped from me. But these ones, they're just little no-name ones, but they have a very, very, very good fit to the tip of the jaws there. What happens with these a lot, you know, the cheaper ones, is, is that the jaws will go together and they kind of go over each other rather than meeting nicely. These ones, don't, they meet nicely and they snip things very well. I use these a lot. You'll see me using these in the kit builds all the time. And you'll see me using these pliers as well. So that little pliers kit is still available too. And did it change in price? Some, some of these things did change in price. So if we look at the pliers kit, it was 1807. Uh, yeah, it's come down. So it's come down almost to a little bit over two dollars. So that's you know it's great to see things come down in price. That's good. These are these are excellent too. These are quite precise in their sizes. As, as long as you know the dimensions of the wire that you have, you won't make a mistake. So what I suggest using with these is always put it on something a little bit bigger. See if that gets through the insulation. So you. Just bite down and pull it, it should slide right off if it doesn't then then try the next size down eventually get the right size rather than starting too small and going up if you start too small you'll cut some of the wire and that's generally not a good idea especially if it has to carry some current 
I love this screwdriver kit. Uh, it's so handy to use. Like it has, it has the the individual pieces here, the individual screwdrivers, which for for most tasks it's okay just to use them like this. They got a kind of a triangular shape, them, so you get quite a bit of torque on them. But if you do get a case where somebody's really over tightened something, or you need to really tighten something down. Uh, it does have this uh, additional handle to go on it and you can get a massive amount of torque with this So it's this has been a great kit so far. It comes nicely magnetized just enough to pick up small screws and stuff like that So that that is really nice like it, they were thoughtful enough to do that And you've got the three sizes of Phillips three sizes of flat blade and then these two uh, other tools here like the pick and the little pry bar it's my it's my go-to screwdriver kit even though i've got a whole drawer full of screwdrivers this is the one i use most that's the kit so far so it's gone up a little bit and most of the increase in that price was the things that we added in like this a little chi weights meter the lm317 based power supply and this power this power supply here has gone up quite a bit in price like 26 bucks our scopes add a little bit more money in there but other things have come down Altogether, though, we've come up about $68. So we're still at $356 Canadian, which is uh, about 28 cents American. Well, not, not quite, but it's about, uh, it's under $300 US. I think it, you know, for, for the added functionality we've put in there and just growing the kit from our, our initial setup, these have been really worthwhile additions into it. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to add into the kit now that we've got something, you know, most of the stuff is really usable. It may eliminate the XR2206 in favor of the uh, function generator built into the Zavi. So that will cut off $13.90. And I, you know, I'll consolidate it and add in more functionality as we go along. But I think uh, where we are right now is it's a nice kit. That's it, folks. I mean, that's the update to the beginner's toolkit. We'll continue to do that. We'll continue to update it. We'll do episodes like this every once in a while. And if you don't see me using it, uh, ask me about it. I probably am using it and I should show it a little bit more. And one thing I'd like to shout out to the folks, uh, uh, some folks seem to be using my, my link to AliExpress to, to buy stuff. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, it, every little bit helps. Thank you very much for doing that. Anyway, folks, that's all I have for you today. So thanks for coming out to join me and uh, we'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, you know, do some electronics. Bye-bye.